Hey everyone, welcome to Editing Aviation Photography number 3. Today, I will show you how I edited this photograph I took of an Air Canada 787 Dreamliner at Toronto Pearson. Just to note before we begin, this tutorial will work for any photo, but just remember, the values will be different, obviously. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is import the photo into Adobe Lightroom. Once it has imported, click the letter D on your keyboard or go up here and select develop. Now go to your lens corrections tab and enable remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections as each lens you use has slightly distortion in it. Now that you have done that, go to your crop overlay tool by clicking the R key or going up to this tool here. I will crop this image to 16 by 9 for now. I will show you later how I created it into a 5 by 4 format that's ready for Instagram. So I'm happy with that crop I have right now. Next thing I want to do is go to the basic tab and I will mess around with the profile. If you shot your photo in RAW, you'll you'll be able to do this, which you should be obviously be shooting in RAW. And if you shot JPEG, skip this step. Under Profile, select Vivid. Then, under Tone, select Auto. Up the Contrast. Up the Shadows. Lower the Highlights. Lower the Whites. And slightly lower the and slightly raise the blacks actually in the texture raise the texture to around here and the clarity as well next go to your tone curve lower your highlights lower your lights up your darks and up your shadows just like so then go down to your HSL slash color under saturation, raise the red as I want to bring out the logo and the orange with yellow and green to bring out the grass slash windscreen. Next, go to your details tab and while holding the alt key under masking, drag across you get to the point where you just see the plane that the outline of the plane in the white marking this will basically be the part that's only being sharpened before we add some finishing touches if you like my photos I recently made aviation and landscape wallpapers for desktop link is in the description if you wish to use them for your computer now let's get back to the tutorial now I will show you how I darken the sky brought out the clouds, and made the plane have more detail. So, let's start off with making the sky darker. On your keyboard, click the letter M, or click this tool up here to bring up the graduated filter. Now, drag from the top of the image to a small part of the image, like so. Now, make it the spacing between the lines as small as possible. So now, from the dot, drag all the way down to the point where you see that the line is meeting pretty much where the buildings are. So for me this part is good. But to see what part is affected, you can either select show select mask overlay by clicking the O key or going down here and pressing this. So everywhere that's red is going to be affected by the graduate filter with the changes that you make in the edit panel here. Going around the plane, so right now we don't want it to affect the plane, so we're gonna go to our brush tool up here, select erase, and we're basically what we're gonna do, while holding space you can zoom in like so, and you're gonna basically just erase around the plane. You want to erase every portion of the plane, from the tail, to the wings, to the fuselage, right? And for example, if you make a mistake by going outside the line, for example, you can hold Alt and basically paint back in. 
or you can simply go control Z and it basically brings it back to the way that it was. I will now speed up the process but remember take your time with this. This is something you don't want to rush. So I'll see you in a bit. Now that we have erased the plane, pretty much, either click the O key or go down here and select show select map overlay to basically remove that red marking. Now under the edit tab, go to the dehaze and raise that to around this much. and lower your saturation just a tad like so also I want to make the sky a bit darker so the way that I do that is I lower the exposure I'm gonna go around half a stop here so I'm just gonna type in negative 0 0.50 but I think that's looking good for me at least now let's add detail to the plane. To access the adjustment brush, you can either click up here for the adjustment brush or click the letter K. Now you have the brush here to show what you're painting, right? Because if I'm going like this, I can't see what I'm painting. It's the same exact thing like a graduated filter. Click the O key or select down here to show selected mask overlay. Now it's pretty much exactly like the graduated filter, but just the opposite. Now you're gonna be painting the whole entire plane. And I will basically get right back. I'll speed this up and I'll be right back. So right now let's click the letter O on the keyboard or press down here to show select mask overlay. We're going to deselect it to hide it and basically you want to go over to this column here where it's the texture and basically simply bring up the texture slightly and the clarity too. Now you see how the, winds the windscreen here is a bit bland. I want to make those colors pop. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to new and we're basically going to zoom in on here, click the letter O and, or go show mask overlay and pretty much we're just going to paint away. So now that we have brushed the, the windscreen, click the letter O again, or down here again, and now go over to the saturation and just slightly raise that. Just like so. That works. That works for me. I like that. Right now I'm going to show you on how to 
basically make this image into a 5x4 copy for Instagram as it's Instagram friendly. So what you want to do is right click on the image, create virtual copy, and if you look at that in your film strip, a, a second copy was created. Now let's go back to our crop overlay tool by going up here and selecting it or clicking the letter R. So here you see how the photo is already cropped but to 16 by 9. We're going to crop it down to 4 by 5. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Just like so. For me that works. But if you look at the image before, I did have a few dust spots. And you can easily get rid of that by either going up here for the spot removal tool or by letter pressing the letter Q. I typically have it around the heel, feather is at zero, opacity is a hundred, and I just have and then pretty much you can visualize spots by clicking down here or clicking the letter A. So then you can use this slider here to basically show where you have dust spots. I have a dust spot here. And here. To basically go back, we click the letter A and then Q. And then basically now we don't have any more dust spots. And then do the same thing with the 5x4 image if you decide to. And pretty much that's all I see here in this area here. So I'm happy with this. So basically what you want to do, go down, you see your film strip, select the image, click Control A to have them both selected. Now click Control Shift E. And it brings up this box right here. Now, export it to where you want it. This is where the photo is going to go. I'm going to make sure my quality is at 100, at JPEG and sRGB. Make sure your resolution is at 500 ppi, pixels per inch. Make sure you sharpen for screen at high resolution. Unless you're going to print it, then you're going to select what type of paper you're going to print it on but we're using this for screen so I'm going to set screen and high. Make sure you have, if you have a watermark, enable your watermark and simply press export. There we go, here's the final image. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and comment. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at photos by Gregory and click the link to view and download the wallpapers I have created. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.